I'm sweating here at the uh, Kaituku apartment complex in Colburnie. There's currently a, a balmy 27 degrees and 90% humidity in here. We're currently in the centre of a grid of nine rooms in this apartment block. And what we're doing here is keeping all these nine rooms at a consistent 27 degrees Celsius uh, for about 10 days. And we're looking at the heat flows between the units, which should be pretty negligible given that they're at the same temperature, and also through the external walls to outside. And we're actively using this computer system here to control the, the temperature inside the apartment to this, to this uh, set point. So we've got fans that are mixing the air, making sure we're getting a consistent temperature across the apartment, and an array of thermocouples spread around the, the building so we can actually make sure that we are getting that consistent temperature. So from that, we can look at the power that's being used to maintain that temperature uh, in all the apartments, look at the airflow that's going in and out of the building, and we can calculate uh, what, the, what the heat loss due to the airflow is, and also the heat loss due to the windows at either end of the apartment, because those should basically be the only places where we're losing heat, the airflow and those end walls. Actually, the, the one that's very difficult to understand is the, the air that's lost through the envelope. And so that's where we have our nice gas tracer set up here, where we dose a small amount of a tracer gas into the building at a constant rate. Um, and from there, we can sample the, the gas concentration every five, 10 minutes in the building and actually understand how much has been lost. So we can actually correlate that with the wind speed and wind direction and those kind of things and understand actually how much air we're losing out of the building and how much of the energy lost by the building is due to that air. Um, so we can really get a good handle on, on what effect these modifications have had to the building. We're also uh, using a thermal camera during these experiments. So the idea is you come back on a, a cold night, these building, these rooms have been kept at 27 degrees. So you can get the thermal camera, you've got a significant temperature difference between inside and outside. Therefore you can actually see uh, where your heat loss paths are. Preliminary results have shown that the Kotuku upgrade has improved the indoor thermal environment for the individual apartments a great deal, meaning that the occupants will be considerably more comfortable year-round.